Hello, hello, one too many here, and today I'm be going over some of the most recent changes to Marine Arena. This is uh, changes from patch log 12-5-2011, so the 5th of December. This just happened yesterday, and they are changes mainly to elite units. The Banshee, the Corruptor, the Sentry, and they added a new elite unit, the Taldarim Mothership, which is a massive, massive mothership, and I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, but for the first few changes, there's just a little bit of stat changes. Basically, all of these units, are, except for the Corruptor, I think, had cooldowns. For example, you couldn't purchase the Banshee or the Sentry until the 10 minute mark, which is kind of ridiculous, and it ended up in these units barely ever being used. So basically, they were nerfed a little bit in terms of stats, but also their prices were decreased significantly, and now you're able to get them at the start of the game. And this is actually really, really neat because they just have so much power, I guess, in the beginning of the game, to whereas in the later stages of the game they kind of die off so I'm just gonna go over the units one by one basically we have the Banshee here and the reason I really like the Banshee as a starting unit is because not only does it give you vision of the cliff say if you were over in this area you could see who has this or controlling this or say someone's cliff fighting these two teams and you're this team over here and nobody's coming into the middle of the map so you want to see what's going on so you can fly up here and um, just check it out but also they're really really great for harass so they come equipped with cloak so they're able to cloak off the bat uh, you don't have to buy anything anymore for that they just have cloak in the beginning of the game but then also right out the gate they're able to one shot marines so they do 24 damage but that's two attacks and they have range of seven so you can basically keep them alive indefinitely unless someone gets a counter like a corruptor or something like that to kind of push you back or keep you away and you can just one shot marines which is really nice um, it's great for harass early game it doesn't like typically if you were to get this at the start of the game you would basically just make your money back in terms of kills. You're not going to make any significant, um, any significant like returns on it. But you're going to be able to get your um, your cliff vision really easily because, say, someone was attacking. By the time you get your banshee, they'll probably be at these rocks right here. You can just fly over here and you start harassing them, and then they'll they'll shoo them away basically, and you'll be able to get your vision fairly easily. No one will really be able to stop you unless they get uh, the counter, which is the corruptor. So the banshee, it now costs 150 minerals at the start of the game. Really nice. And again, all these elite units can be purchased at the elite mercenary shops right here, and right here. Um, and then also the corruptor got a change. Uh, aside from the stat morphs, um, or the stat changes, its price got decreased from 225 minerals to 125. So it is cheaper than the banshee by 25 minerals. And then its corruption got changed. Corruption used to give 100% damage bonus, which is kind of actually overpowered against heroes like the Archon or the Brutalisk that really rely on um, armor stacking because basically once you threw on a corruption, that armor was null and void. And now instead it does a 30% damage increase and it also slows the affected unit by 25%. So you can see here I just infected this Zealot right here or corrupted it and it's getting a movement speed decrease. Now this spell might be adjusted a little bit in the future but for now that's basically what it does it's supposed to be an early game counter to um, like the Banshee and things like that and it does decent damage to the Banshee, the Banshee now um, you can see it takes about seven shots to kill a Banshee um, but in that time they should be able to move out of the way so basically it's just a good shoe uh, mechanism for the Banshee but there's also another really cool use to the Corruptor and I'll show you guys that later in the game um, and then also we have the Sentry and the Sentry was not able to get purchased until the 10 minute mark either also it costs 300 minerals what happened now is they cost 175 minerals, so you can purchase them at the start, and there is no longer cooldown. And sentries are really, really nice, just because of um, they have two really important support abilities. So they have force field, and they have gr guardian shield. And the guardian shield is just going to reduce all incoming range damage by 30%, but the, the force field is what's really, really cool. So you can see here I've got a few zealots, and I'm just going to have them attack up here. And, yeah, I'm lagging real hard, all these zealots. See, did it even work? Nope. Oh, there it is, finally. I'm lagging, it's all the zealots. But you can just do stuff like this, force field them in chokes, I keep on lagging, or clicking on the zealots. It's the only bad thing about control. And I actually totally died here. So this didn't go as planned, and, uh, nah, this is just a fail. I'm not gonna redo it, just because it took so long to set all this stuff up. So you guys, you're just gonna see that. Um, the point was I was going to actually force field this choke and try and kill 200 zealots, which is how many this was, but I only got 127. It doesn't matter to me. You guys get the point. You can force field stuff like the ramps or basically anything from melee, which is really nice. And then if you were uh, going against someone and they were using sentries early game, I would recommend probably the Banshee. To, again, it would just be more of a shoe away. It's probably not going to kill it super effectively, but it will get the point across. And also, if you're for, uh, going against a sentry, what you want to kind of just do is avoid them. So when they lay down their force fields, if you have melee, just back up. Let them use their energy. Or if they have a guardian shield and they throw that down, just again, back up. 
let it go down, and then attack them again. There's no reason to engage once they have all these great defenses up. And then the last bit here is the Taldarim Mothership. This thing costs 15,000 minerals. That is no joke, considering a queen costs, uh, I think, only 5,000. And I'm just going to move it into this base over here and use the Planet Cracker, which is its ability. So this thing has 10 or a hundred thousand shield so I'm just gonna go right through all of these guys right here and we'll see how much damage it does or if it makes it these guys are slightly tech they have three and three so I was able to get the double spawn nothing too awesome from there and you can see they're just I mean I'm moving into the heat of it I I'm not so sure that they're gonna be able to get through those shields before I get off the planet cracker and then once it gets to the middle where I'm having it go right here it is going to set off its ability which is planet cracker and this is basically gonna kill everything um, but it will lose its shields, and that's basically the time you'd be able to kill it. But then, even then, you have to work down 75,000 health. So this is supposed to be like an in-game, sudden death, ender to the game. Just because of um, how powerful it is. But it does cost 15,000 minerals again. So here we go. I just fired the, <laughs> the planet cracker. Looks like, uh, yep, I'm frying both these bases right here. There's not much anybody can do. They're trying, look at the lag here. There's a full base of units, and they're all dying. Oh my goodness. So this thing is insanely overpowered. There is probably no way to kill it. And it's just meant to really kill turtles. Because again, it costs 15,000 minerals. There's no way you're going to get this in the game. So you can see there, I just moved into the base. Basically A moved and then got right about here. And I took out literally everything in that base. And that was completely full. So this thing is pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if anybody's actually going to be able to use this in a game viably. Because it costs so much money. But it's... It's a pretty cool thing nonetheless. Um, but that's about it for this last update. Uh, this OTM, I hope you guys like this. Um, let me know if you actually get to use this mothership, because it's insane. Um, but until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.